Today I'm going to be showing you how to get the Windows 10 MCI packaging environment inside Hyper-V. So the first thing you need to do is open your start menu and search for add and search for turn Windows features on and off. Here we go. I already enabled Hyper-V but for you by default it will not be enabled and you need Windows 10 Pro for this. On home, you either have to enter a generic Windows separate key or just reinstall it to Pro. Alright, I enabled already Hyper-V, but if you did not enable it, just check this box, click on OK, it will restart your system, and then you are up and running. Alright, so let's click on OK, and run the Hyper-V Manager. Now click on Quick Create, and click on the first option, which is the Windows 10 MCI packaging environment. It's the download size is 4.36 gigabytes. So let's just click on create. I have gigabit internet, so this will not take a while at all, but still, I'm gonna speed it up for you guys. So I'll see you when this is installed. All right, so that little process is complete. Now we can connect to the virtual machine and start. Here we go, we have this Hyper-V loading screen. This is now loading us into the out-box experience, which is where we can set up Windows, create our user account and everything. This also takes a while, so I'm also going to skip this part just to make it faster for you guys. So, so I'll, I'll see you when this is also complete. All right, so this is complete too. Now we can select our region. And now these are just the basics. US, which keep, you want to ask if you are allowed, not now, so we're just gonna skip it. Now it says now we have some important stuff to do about the network. It just says sit back and relax. I hate the Windows 10 setup because on when you're setting up Linux, you don't need 300 reboots just to get to the out of box experience. On Linux, you just click on next, 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 partition your drive, click on next, takes 20 minutes, restart, and Linux is installed. Not this where I am accepting the Windows 10 license agreement. And now it's probably gonna force me to sign in with the Microsoft account. I'm do I'll just do this trick. AAD.com, that's what I do always. Oh so set up Windows with a local account. Here we go. Let's just call it Vigo. And and it always just forces your Microsoft account here or or even better, use an online account. I don't care. Ah, oh, we're gonna put a super secure password. And now these stupid security questions. A. A. Here we're gonna do G. Now it's going to. I'm gonna disable all of all of this crap that it def. That enabled by default all this all this stuff that's why I like to use Windows 7 and I have Windows 10 but because my computer is too new for Windows 7 and I want to and I customize it to look like Windows 7 Windows 7 is definitely my favorite OS and if you want to see a video on that uh, just leave it down in the comments all right so here we have the high screen getting to the right for you and as I checked, Hyper-V has the best performance with VMs. I tried VirtualBox. No, like there, sometimes it freezes, sometimes it's unbearably slow, and with VMware, either the drivers are missing, either, either VMware tools is not working, either it's, it's so slow that it takes three, out, three minutes to open the start menu, so I found that Hyper-V 
for my use case and I review is the best one. Sure, if you want to have a Linux VM, use VirtualBox as the best for that, but Hyper-V is not bad at that too. You have pre-made Ubuntu VMs. You have Ubuntu 18.4, 20.04, and 22.04, so I don't see the reason why. Okay, yeah, because you need Windows and Pro, but still, VMware is also a paid software. This is not even paid. You just need Windows and Pro. And VirtualBox is free, but it's kind of it's kind of laggy when and when I try Windows 7, it freezes. All right, and here we are. Select the resolution. I'm going full screen and click on connect. Gonna connect. Just give me this. Here we go. Enter my password. Here we go. Here we have the MCI packaging environment packaging tool so for all your needs here we go this is your stock install windows 10 it's enterprise you can run hyper v here as well winber 21h2 windows 10 enterprise evaluation operating system and you have a package editor modification package so yeah this is based and you have an, a 90 day free trial of windows which i really like because when I used to have my laptop, which I never had activated Windows on, let me just set this to everything to be dark. Yeah, this is much better. I think that um, this is going to be. And if you want to see any more, any more content about Windows customization or anything, I'm gonna do it all in this VM because this is the stockiest installation of Windows that I've ever seen. There, there is no bloat. Yes, there is Paint 3D and Office and all that stuff, but. There is no Candy Crush, there is no Solitaire Collection, yeah. So that's that. Thank you guys for watching, please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one, bye!